am I doing a review on Gundam Breaker 3? Don't you guys know how I feel about it already? I mean, this is just the absolute perfect game for me. Oh my god. It is every Gundam fan's wet dream, let alone mine. Every single one of us love this game. I guess... fine, here I go. If you're unfamiliar with the game, uh, its basis is in the world of Gumpla building, which is short for Gundam Plastic Model Kits. Basically, in the game, uh, you build your own mo Gundam model kit, and you fight waves upon waves of enemies and their model kits as well. Uh, you get to build your own perfect Gundam through it. You start off with a very basic model kit, and as you complete stages and beat up enemies, with you know, you get more kits, you get more parts, you get new arms, new legs, new head, whatever, new weapons. You piece them all together and you create your own ultimate Gundam. God, I've been dreaming about this ever since the first time I watched Gundam Wing. It is amazing. There is a total of 100 different model kits within the game, I believe, uh, giving you something around 10 million different possible combinations. So, I mean, it's almost guaranteed that that, combined with the optional parts that they have you add on, uh, you're going to make your own, you know, personal, unique Gundam. Unique to you, no one else in the world is probably going to have one like it. If you are a fan of the Gunpla building, uh, it is the world's most popular hobby, I highly recommend picking up this game. You can do virtual kit bashes in the game before you even build it physically. Uh, this way it saves you a lot of time and energy on, you know, also money, because, you know, model kits cost money. So before you go bashing them together, do a virtual kit bash, save yourself some money, see if it even looks good before you actually get it together. You can test out color schemes with the paint and all that. Building your own Gundam will probably take up most of your time within this game, but gameplay, trust me, is no slouch. Uh, again, guys, I played this on the PlayStation 4. There is a PlayStation Vita version, but since I only played the PlayStation 4, I cannot attest to what the Vita is capable of. The PS4, though, let me tell you, the PS4 version is absolutely amazing. The graphics are so beautiful. I mean, it actually, if you zoom in close enough with the lighting effects and everything, it actually looks like you're playing as a plastic model kit. You can even uh, do a paint scheme with metallic colors, so it looks like you're actually playing as a metal, metallic type robot. It is absolutely amazing. Particle effects, however, in the game can get way out of hand at times, but this won't slow down the game at all. Trust me, my little brother did test upon test upon test trying to stress test this game, and never once was he able to make the game skip frames, let alone slow down at all. Uh, those of you who did watch me play this game on stream know that I did have a couple of issues with the game. Uh, however, please be aware that that was due to bad maintenance of my PlayStation 4, not due to the game itself. So, trust me, uh, take care of your consoles, kids. Take care of your console, and they'll take care of you for a very, very long time. The story for the game... Yeah, uh, there's there's really not much to the story to tell you guys. Uh, you play as a faceless, nameless character who's been conscripted into the services of a young girl who's trying to help save her shopping mall from dying, and you do this by participating in Gunpla Battle Tournaments. So, basically, you're going to just keep fighting characters over and over and over until you win, and then you move on to the next tournament, possibly a boss, who knows but you're just gonna keep fighting. There really is no story at all, so to speak. Bosses in the game, however, come in the form of perfect grade model kits or possible mobile armors. Uh, so it's basically a David and Goliath thing going on. It's really cool and really, really, yeah. When they catch you off guard, you scream like a little bitch because you're not expecting them. And you don't have the setup you need to fight them, ha, <laughs> which sucks. At the end of the story though, there is a very nasty computer virus that has taken over the Gunpla battle system and you have to fight it to save the world, you know, usual Japanese video game stuff. 
Uh, they really didn't need to add that point. They, it's not spoilers because they literally throw it at you right at the last stage and you're like, okay, let's save the world. So uh, that's just the way it goes. Overall, I would say four out of five Gundam fans will thoroughly enjoy this game. That fifth Gundam fan, though, he thinks the Universal Century is the only true Gundam version and you know what this means that he likes Gino Reconquista and uh, well if you like Gino Reconquista then you're wrong and as such you're wrong about this game as well so don't listen to that fifth guy I'm not giving this an absolute perfect score because there were some you know there's hundred there's 100 different model kits in the game with more to come as free DLC as the game progresses but I am a little bit upset that you know 100 different model kits within the game and yet some of the suits some of the units I was really looking forward to weren't in the game at all as well as several of the suits were simply repeats over and over again you know the game does not need a wing zero and a proto wing zero when they're both the same fucking unit and they just look slightly different you know the game doesn't need a Zeta Gundam and a Zeta Gundam A1 it's the same damn unit just put one gun in there and boom, you're done. That concludes my review of Gundam Breaker 3. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you liked the video. If you didn't like the video, go ahead and tell me in the comments why you didn't like it. And make sure to check out my Twitch channel, guys, where I play all of these games live for all to enjoy.